up, you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome back to another episode of Dumb Blonde. Today, my official, unofficial co-host <laughs> decided to make a fucking appearance. She's here, you guys, Mrs. Fifi King. Hey, everybody. What's up, baby? You're like so requested to be on my podcast. Motherfuckers love no. you. No, they, you know they do. <laughs> you see them. They tell you all the time. They're like, dude, fucking Fifi's hilarious. Like, they love you. So what's been up? What's new? I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Well, you're so busy doing all your things. And <laughs> Al's on the road all the time. So when he is here, I'm just like, okay, I'm going to stay at home so. that's so awesome that al's actually back on the road because it took him a really long time to actually want to get out and tour again it was mm-hmm. really hard for him to leave the family right well you know he'd he'd rather be at home you know but you mm-hmm. got to make the money and you yeah. got to give the fans what they want and it was just like a you know people were like hey please come please come so you know now that they have this new project coming out i kind of had to do it that's awesome so you just went at home holding down the fort yeah school started back so you know all Thank that fun. god <laughs> see and i'm just the opposite i'm like fuck that shit <laughs> well because you homeschool your kids yeah see, so we get a break every no. day we're like 6 30 <laughs> get up kid you gotta go don't come home till you fucking have to you no, know I, I don't get those so <laughs> So you had some people write in questions. I think today what we're going to do is, you know, normally we always have like a point today. We're free we balling it. Yeah, today we do not have a point. <laughs> we're just going to fucking, it's going to be a smorgasbord. So try to keep up with our ADD because it's about to be real. Um, So you had some people write in questions, I right? did. Um, and I have some topics I want to touch on. So what should we do first? Whatever you want to do. It's your show. I mean, I like when you take take over the reins. <laughs> gives me a break. Okay, well, we'll start with a few questions. Maybe we'll just jump around with that, too. All right, cool. Let's do it. Um, someone asked if we had ever gotten into an argument. I don't know if we've ever gotten into, like, an argument argument. Like, we might get annoyed with each other, yeah. but we, we know each other well enough to just stay away from each other or, or go say, silent yeah. or say, hey, or just what, say, what's your is, problem? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, the, what the fuck is your deal? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't really fight. I think when you get to a certain age you know friendships you you cherish them Mm -hmm. so much more and it's so hard to find fucking real bitches you know so why would you girls that always have new friends weird me the fuck out well i mean clearly you're the problem if you can't keep (laughs) a friend like yeah you know no i totally feel the same way or and and not not just women but even fucking guys who constantly have new people around them like it's just like who sent you rotating them like bitches yeah exactly like you got to be able to establish you know healthy friendships and relationships you know, mm-hmm. throughout life, who wants to just have to start over with a friend? I can't do it because I have such, you know, like I'm so picky as it is. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not going to go through the effort again to like be your we friend. We know Phoebe hates people. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I mean, I think that was everybody's favorite thing. They're like, I can relate to that so much. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I didn't realize how many people hate people. I, I love the people that I love and the yeah. ones that I don't, you know, just fuck them. Really. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay, so another one was, um, you guys seem very different. How does being friends work? <laughs> we're really not that different, <laughs> no, though. No, we're we, not at all. We might look different on the outside, mm-hmm. but on the inside, like, we really are just, like... The same morals, the same, you know, like... How we want to raise kids mm-hmm. and how we take care of our husbands. And, yep. you know, like, I relate 100% when Fee and Al actually lived with us for, mm-hmm. like, six months, right? It was, like, yeah. six, or eight months. I don't know. It wasn't long enough. We want you guys back. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the boys back. Um... And when she lived with us, I just saw so many similarities because, she, you know, she would wake up in the morning and make sure Al had food. And, yeah. you know, he can't fucking do anything without her. And I'm sorry, he's going to get pissed. <laughs> he's so not. That. He'll admit that. Um, like he can't. He's just like Jay. Like we pick out their clothes. Like Jay just recently started getting his own fucking style, which cracks me up because he's like, I've been doing this. I'm like, yeah, OK. And no, you have it. <laughs> I'm like, whatever, no, dude. You have it. Um, but no, you, you had so many. We had so many similarities and we just instantly fell in love with each other for sure the first time that we met because you know it was just like kindred spirits you know agreed so yeah we might look different on the outside but on the inside we're the same (laughs) same squishy yeah (laughs) pink is my favorite color um so what do you think the other one's best quality is your loyalty i love your loyalty um, there's a few that I have for you. That- oh, oh, wait. I just, they only said one. Don't <laughs> well, make me look Anna. bad. Shit. <laughs> your, your loyalty as well. But um, just like your determination, like 
No. Whatever you say you're going to do, you always fucking do it. I love you. I love you. You too, though. <laughs> like, I, I, I love your tenaciousness. I, I mean, if we're naming multiple things because the person <laughs> only asked for one, but now I feel bad. I love your tenaciousness. I love your loyalty. And I love your heart. You just have such Thanks. a good heart. Like, you are always in a good place. Even, like, when Jay and I would be fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Fee. She gets caught in the crosshairs. Jay and I, for the record, let me knock on wood. We don't argue like we used to anymore. Thank God. But we yes. used to fucking burn the house down. Uh -huh. I'm talking like, woo, it was crazy. <laughs> and poor Fee would just like be in the middle of us like, you guys stop, knock it off. Or I would, I'd text her and be like, he's a motherfucker, <laughs> fuck him. And she'd be like, girl, you're going to be sucking his dick later. You know, like she's always just... Yeah. Her heart's always been in the right place, and that's really hard to find in a, a woman. A human, like, period. Yeah. <laughs> For uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one wasn't a question. It was a comment, but I, I wanted to add it because I felt like we should address it. Um, it says, you both cuss a lot. It's not ladylike. <laughs> Oh, Fuck off. shit, motherfucker. <laughs> You're listening to the wrong two bitches. Yeah, <laughs> That's like, what, if you want fucking church shit, go. What's Joel Oldstein's uh, wife's no name? Know. I don't even know. You need to go go to church, baby. Um, You're in the wrong fucking crowd here. And they say that people that curse more are, uh, smarter. are smarter than people that don't. So. Yeah. So fuck you. Yeah. You're smart, you fucking prick. Was it a girl or a woman? It was a girl. God, it's, oh, you know what? No, let me rephrase that. My trolls are mostly dudes, but some, I had a girl last night come on my, granted, okay, my legs are spread open and I never post pictures <laughs> like that, <laughs> but you know, if I can shit, I got to, there's a lot of competition out there. <laughs> so <laughs> I just show you guys what I'm working with. And, um, my legs are like spread <laughs> open, but for for the caption, it was I was said that I was ovulating yeah. and I wanted Daddy to come get me pregnant. And, you know, so I always try to include my husband even when I'm being a slur. <laughs> and this fucking girl came on my page, doesn't even follow me. It was a couple people, but this one stood out to me. She's like repulsive, and it's like like your face you yeah. know like bitch who are you like why do you guys just come out of nowhere with just little tidbits of negativity it's they just so feel weird bad about themselves and they have to just go attack other people that they wish they were i could never wake up in the morning and just go on somebody's page and fucking talk shit to them i'd feel like a fucking loser you're a troll like yeah you know like i you could literally fucking make somebody's day or fucking you know not make somebody say there's some people who don't have backbones like mm -hmm. I do and like the negative comments really affect them yeah oh, for I, sure I laugh at them but there are some girls who really take that shit to heart you yeah know? I had one girl who um she's beautiful she's an Instagram model millions of followers gorgeous and she asked me she was like how do you deal with the negativity and I was just like I don't I don't let it affect mm -hmm. me because if you're a fucking loser that can be sitting at home in your fucking house and talk shit about somebody you've never met yep. never walked in their shoes but you're on their picture and you're talking shit you've already won dude like you're doing so much better than they are Absolutely. like so don't let it affect you but she was like it was it's so hard like it really hurts my feelings when people say this about me she's like it's fucked up because i can actually see what they are what they are saying about me and i was like oh my god like that made me feel so bad but she would never see it if people didn't say it exactly and so just you know what Troll off, all yeah. right? <laughs> fucking stop being trolls, you fucking dipshits. <laughs> um, okay. Does it make you mad when people say you're so lucky to be married to your husband? Yes. <laughs> I like, hate that. Well, first of all, we're both lucky because right. we found somebody who wants to put up with our bullshit, but it doesn't make me more lucky because he's him. Like, right, you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. I don't, it's just so weird to me. Like, and this goes into a topic I wanted to talk about too. I'll, I'll um, parlay it together. A little segue. Yeah. A little segue. <laughs> um, when people tell me, Oh, you're jelly. So lucky to have you. That's mm -hmm. what annoys me. Mm -hmm. I hate when people are like that because it's like, what are you saying? Like yeah. that he couldn't have another me if he wanted to. Like yeah. Jay's fucking amazing. He's an asshole, but he's amazing, yeah. you know? And he's had bad bitches, none of my stature. <laughs> but <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but he's had a couple, you know, and I'll give him that. Um, but it just makes me so mad because I it just I kind of feel like it's a put down, mm -hmm. you know. And then when girls are like, Oh my god, you're so lucky to be married to Jay, like the, I kind of appreciate that more than when people say the other, right? You know, because I'm just like, Yeah, I am lucky, you yeah. know, like he's a fucking great guy. He's really turned into the man that I've always dreamed of, and I really mean that. And that's not bragging like 
I went through fucking hell, bitches. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it took him a lot to get there. <laughs> so. I can say that because I went through hell, but I love him to death. Um, I don't know. When people say that to you, does it piss you off? It, it makes me feel weird. Um, <laughs> it you makes know. my butthole tingle. <laughs> like, you don't know our lives. You just know what you see. Mm-hmm. Like, you know. Yeah, so, you only know. Like, a lot of people get Instagram mixed up with, like, real life. Yeah, and a lot of times people don't post. Like, we mm-hmm. don't ever post anything negative. You know what I mean? Ever. And, like, doesn't mean it's not there. Instagram is a slideshow mm-hmm. of people's triumphs, even if they're small triumphs, like getting fucking Starbucks during the day, <laughs> yeah. which is my fucking glory hole. Or, you know, fucking a girl's doing a photo shoot. A guy fucking, you know, is out with his homies. We consider the people who actually do post themselves crying mm-hmm. and feel like Chris Crocker. Yeah. He is as real as it gets. Yep. I, Chris, get on my fucking podcast, please. please. I love you to death. <sighs> um, he actually followed me on Instagram. So Ooh. there's my fangirl moment. Um, he's as real as it gets, but he gets judged so much because he will cry. Yeah. He'll get fucking shittered drunk <laughs> and talk shit about people and talk shit to fucking people who troll him. Like he really is legit. Yeah. And people think it's weird. They like I turn think it it's in, great. Yeah, they turn it into like a bad thing. And it's just like it's it's not like don't fucking mistake people's highlight reels for real life, yep. you know? Yeah, so. I agree with that. A million percent. That's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> what was the point? <laughs> <laughs> Where was I going with that? I don't know. You said you had something to lead into with like, you know. Oh, okay. Oh, with girls who are like, oh, you're so lucky that Jill yeah. is your husband and stuff like that. Let's talk about bitches that. Okay. So this fucking lady got so mad at me um, about a post that I posted a couple weeks ago and I said something about married women being in my husband's DMs. Yeah. That was not meant towards his fans at all. No. I I love when people show, you know, their love for him. I love when people inbox him and tell him that they love him and stuff like that. That doesn't bother me. It bothers me with people that we know. Yeah. Wives Mm -hmm. are always in his DMs, like not just one DM, like they'll go multiple times. And it's just, I think it's disrespectful. It's like, bitch, you want me in your husband's DM? Yeah. I think there's like levels to this shit. There's rules. Absolutely. You don't do that. I would never in my life go to one of our homies. Oh, Oh, hell. Turn (laughs) it. I didn't realize it was on shit. I would never go to one of our homies, you know, husbands and fucking DM them. I think that's the fucking weirdest shit ever. No, I would never do that either. Like, first of all, if I had something to say to somebody else's husband, I would either say it to them or have my husband say it to to them. Yeah. Um, like their wife, I would have their wife say something to them yeah. or it's just my husband respect. You don't do that. No, you know? it's, and it's like some of these girls out here just don't have respect. Like they'll inbox my man more than they inbox me. No. And I think that's fucking weird. It it's is like, super come on, weird. Dude, like just be respectful. Not that it's an insecurity thing. It's a respect thing. Absolutely. I'm a street bitch. Yeah. We're all about respect. We can fight <laughs> if you yeah. want to. Not even that. It's just there's I, I feel like the street has so many more rules than squares you know, uh, yeah. like square bitches don't know how to act. I agree. Disrespectful as it's fuck. So fucking real. Yeah. So it's like just have a little cooth, and you know, and we're all good. Yeah, we might be foul mouth, but we have you know. Yeah, but I wouldn't be in your rules. husband's DM. Mm-hmm. I'd rather say fuck a lot and show my tits and ass yeah. than fucking be sliding in another bitch's fucking yeah, husband. Yeah, being slimy. DM. Yeah. Yeah. Agree. Because it's like it just looks disrespectful. Like, bitch, are you trying to choose? Because we can put you to work. Let's go. Because <laughs> <laughs> where I'm from, that's what we do. <laughs> yeah, I like that for sure. All right. Um. 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 Okay. Who are female celebrities you would want to meet? Angelina Jolie. I love her. I have. She's so fucking hot. She is super hot. Jason Momoa. (laughs) Can we do ASS dick sucking ASMR? (laughs) (laughs) Mm. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Who are yours? Mine are pink. Yes. Um, I can't believe she just turned 40, dude. She looks so good, right? the coolest fucking person. Yeah, um, we love you, Alicia Moore. Um, Chrissy Teigen, because I think she's fucking hilarious. She is funny. She's grown on me. I used to not like her. I thought she was kind of just brash, but then I was like, so am I. <laughs> yeah, I was like, how are you to judge? <laughs> I was like, so am I, and I kind of like her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then um, Casey Musgraves, 
I re- like she's her. still growing on me yeah i know she's she's different yeah but um um, I love Ellen. Yeah, we all Because, you know, Ellen. just want to give her up. And you got to meet this person, and it really made me mad. Who? Chelsea Handler. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's great. <laughs> Chelsea's awesome. She's such a fucking smart ass dude. Yeah, I love uh, her. That, the Netflix thing that Jay did for her is actually coming out, I think, in like the next week or two. Yeah, so. I think it's the 20th, yeah. maybe. Everybody needs to tune into that, because I might make an appearance. <laughs> tune into it for me, not for my husband, okay? <laughs> or Chelsea. <laughs> At all. <laughs> Speaking of crushes, what are some of your childhood crushes? Um, let me think. New Kids on the Block. I'm that old. Um, I had the biggest crush on fucking Rob Schneider. Ew. <laughs> when I was younger. <laughs> He's so fucking hot. And Drew Carey. What a <laughs> weird fucking thing. I know. I don't know what it was, man. But they're, they're just funny. Like, they're hilarious. Yeah. yeah. And Chris Farley. I had yeah. a crush on. And yeah, John I can Candy. See that. I loved John Candy I, I when I was younger, those. too. Yeah, those, those two are very similar. And, you know. I, I think I like guys that make me laugh. I've always liked guys yeah. that make me laugh. That's what I liked about Jay. Mm-hmm. He made me laugh. Um, my first like was like I'm gonna marry him was Alan Iverson. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I think I was 13. Alan Iverson. <laughs> um, so that was a big one for me, and I still think he's cute. Uh, he's the basketball player. Yeah. Right? I'm so fucking. I don't know. I'm like, who is it? He I, only, need- I only know who he is because of Post Malone. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Posty. Dude, so there's this new website. I don't know if it's new, but it's new to me because I just discovered it. They have one in every city. It's called Sis Is This Your Man? Oh, (laughs) shit. And I fucking am addicted to it. It is drama-rama and I am fucking there for it. It's all these bitches posting their side dudes or their main dudes who have main bitches. And they're like... Who who does he belong to? And the bitches are in the comments like, that's my man. I don't believe you. Send me screenshots, blah, blah, blah. And like, it's legit. Oh, I got to add you to the group. It's a private God. group, so you have to be accepted. I'm please send that as soon as we're done with <laughs> I will, this. And now they have a guy one where the guys have like, bro, is this your chick? And they do the same thing. That is hilarious. Dude, tell me about it. I'm like, so it's my daily dose of drama. Yeah, we don't have any in our real lives, so we yeah. have to live off other people. No, it's like, it's like Jerry Springer on Facebook. It's crazy. No, they're going to get that like an influx crazy. of requests. But yeah, for every city they have it and dudes get caught the fuck up all the time that's fantastic though i know i support it idea like who is that bitch that thought that up how do we make money off of it i feel like (laughs) i'll steal the idea (laughs) i'm stealing your idea lady i don't know who did it but it's fucking great yeah so i'm excited about that whole situation i'll add you to that um i had somebody ask me how i feel about sugar daddies and i was just like is this even really a fucking question (laughs) I think everybody should have one. <laughs> I really, I think that if you can get money out of a dude for the least possible amount of work, you're <laughs> fucking amazing. Because finessing men, uh, as I've said a million times, mm-hmm. is a fucking real job. It's an art. It's an art. There's yeah. there's levels. Like I said, there's levels to the shit. I've had plenty of them. <laughs> I love sugar daddies. I think they're great. I think if you use them for the right reason right like use it to better yourself don't use it to go and buy a fucking chanel bag or whatever the fuck is in i've never Some owned shoes or i've never owned a pair of louboutins i've never owned a fucking louis v purse like and i could have i could yeah. have easily done that i still can do it and i just refuse to do it because i think that it's such a fucking waste of money put it yourself is. through school if you got a dude fucking breaking bread like that girl put yourself through school start a business like use it to to benefit yourself as a stepping stone so that you don't ever have to depend on a man again you know yeah i agree with that so fucking never had one but everybody and let me know how your sugar daddy (laughs) situations are going if you need some free game i gotcha oh yes she does you got any more uh, questions for us um let me see okay this one was really good um it says bunny how long were you addicted to lord hab and how did you quit i am having some issues that's ruined my life please share Mm -hmm. how you shook the habit that sucks. Um, well, I took them. Let's see. I got my wisdom teeth pulled when I was like 22 and I took my first Percocet and excuse me. It was amazing. I was like, I remember I was in a pool and it hit me and I was like, oh my God, this is what heaven feels like. <laughs> you know, like yeah. it felt so good. And then it turned into a habit and I, I never let my... Um, I've tried to be a drug addict. (laughs) I have said this many times. I'm sure people have heard me say this. I've tried so hard to be a drug addict. I mean, I have done everything you can think of except for heroin. 
And every time I do it, my body rejects it mm. and I get sick. And I know that has to be the Lord watching out for me because one, I'm a fucking wild hyena. And two, I would have probably already been dead by now. Yeah. Um, so I thank the Lord for that. So my Loratab habit was literally I would take a half or a whole Loratab a day. The, now I've had friends who have taken like 20 a day, 30 a day, and I've just seen them battle and it, and it was so hard. But I took mine literally every day for probably about 15 years. And when I got with Jelly... Um, I don't know. I just kind of like, I remember we were on, we were on the yellow wolf tour mm -hmm. and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to take these anymore. I don't want to take them anymore. And he's like, cool. Don't take them anymore. And I stopped just cold Turkey. You know me yeah. when I decide I'm going to do something, it's mind over matter with me. Mm -hmm. And I like to test myself, but I mean, if you have people who can help you do it, I don't advise getting on another medication to get no. off of one medication. I think if you're going to get off of medicine, do it cold turkey or wean yourself off. Start start by taking a half of a half or, you know, cut your dosage in half and just start weaning yourself off. That's I the agree best with thing that I can tell you. Sure. I'm not a doctor. I've never healed anybody from... <laughs> <laughs> drug addiction so I don't really have you know the best words of advice but if you really are serious you are gonna conquer anything if you really put your mind to it I believe that too I've never um you know been addicted to drugs but you know I've seen addicts and it's really just mind over matter more than anything and you have to want to get clean and mm -hmm. you know not continue to ruin your life yeah no i and, and especially if it's like affecting your family and it's like really affecting your life to where you have to reach out to somebody then yeah. you already know that you got to stop so agreed let's talk about porn okay <laughs> <laughs> i fucking tweeted something the other day that fucking cracked me up and i said you can tell a lot by about a person by the type of porn that you they can. watch what kind of porn do you watch B? um lesbians um <laughs> I or, or like three or th three ways yeah. you know um that's pretty much my my go-to just lesbians and three way yeah that's my favorite yeah i like i like people that are oiled up <laughs> I mean, I you can find that in I any have, category. I have a weird thing with fucking bitches who have oil all over them and just like getting fucked. Like, I think that's so hot. A or, greasy booty. I is, don't like amateur porn. That's another yeah. thing. Like, some people love my husband. <laughs> <laughs> God bless his soul. He loves amateur blowjob porn. And Ew. I feel like I'm yeah. watching somebody from the Red Rooster give head every time. The Red Rooster is a swingers club in Vegas. It's so fucking gross. And it's like, it just... I don't know. I need professional porn because yeah. I need my bitches to be fucking top notch. Yeah, you know? I, I do agree with that. Um, if the dude's not hot, I can't watch it either. There's this thing called hot guys fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just Google that, ladies. <laughs> and you're welcome. It's just like a bunch of like, you know, rip, rip dudes that are <laughs> hot as fuck. Just banging the shit out of bitches. It's so great. <laughs> porn makes me laugh too. Not only does it... You know, because like, I just have to turn the sound off. Like, oh my, how do you do that? See, I can't, Jay turns the sound off too. So not only are we watching crusty ass bitches suck a dick and it's fucking looking like it's made in somebody's backyard. There's no sound. Like I want to hear the slurps up. So when I watch porn, I have to have the volume up. I, I can hear when it gets to the sex part, but I don't want to hear like the storyline. Like bitch, fast forward. <laughs> you, know, you know, we live in 2000. That's true. What, what is it? 2019? Yeah, we mean, live in did. 2019. That's you true. can fucking fast forward at any time it's i can't true. do that i get straight to the meat and potatoes <laughs> all right like literally i'm like i'm here for a job i'm ready let's go i fucking find the, well sometimes it takes me like an hour though to find porn or yeah i'm so picky dude like if a girl moans a certain way yeah I'm done yeah if a guy fucking is ugly can't do it yep Their if faces. it looks like somebody's fucking grandpa not doing it there's not a lot of hot guys in porn that's no why the website i told you about it's great <laughs> um but yeah so i like sometimes it'll take me an hour sometimes it doesn't but once i do find that fucking good <laughs> one i literally will just fast forward to i like when the girls are on top or when they're getting banged doggy style. That's, That's my, my favorite. favorite. Yeah. I don't want to watch a fucking blowjob. Nope. Like that does nothing for me. Mm -hmm. But my husband loves that shit. I don't know why. So ladies, if you send me pictures of you giving or videos of you giving me blowjobs, I won't be mad. <laughs> my husband and I will use them nightly. <laughs> um, you got any more questions for me? Um, let me see. Us? Um, where'd I go? Um, what's your go-to drink? Well, I don't fucking drink anymore because I have this thing called anxiety. But when I do like to dabble in the old 
fucking shawls. <laughs> it is um, just Belvedere on the rocks with two orange slices. Mine is always Jack, Jack and Dan Ginger Ale. Yeah. She loves her some. She's a whiskey bitch. <laughs> Can we just talk about fall break is about to come up and um, we, yay! Every year we take Bailey somewhere for the fall break. I mm-hmm. want you guys to come this year too. Can we talk about having sex on family vacations? Mm, please, it's. <laughs> very unfortunate most of the time dude it sucks so bad because literally we went on a vacation with his family and i love them to death so this is you know whatever i'll go without sex but we had a bed that fucking creaked and when we were having sex Mm -hmm. it shook the entire house yes so as soon as we woke up in the morning we had sex and fucking the house was a rock and don't come a knock in Jay gets dressed and goes out and his brother-in-laws are sitting out there and like, hey, have a good time. <laughs> and we're like, oh my God. Not, like I have to come out and cook these people breakfast, yeah. you know? And they just heard my fucking sex sounds and shit. <laughs> sounded like a fucking animal mating call. And I was just like, dude, this is so embarrassing. And so now we have fall break coming up and I'm just like, Fee, come with us so that we can sneak <laughs> off and go fuck in the forest or something, dude. Well, we uh, might have to just for that. Um, any <laughs> tips and tricks, man? Um, We always... Like if there's a squeaky bed, put the pillow up like against the wall. So she's it's always not like got a fucking an answer shit. for everything. Yeah. Dude. Cause you, you know, we've been doing this for a little bit longer, <laughs> but <laughs> um, th- that's a good one. But if try to have sex downstairs yeah. or, or have the room downstairs so nobody can hear the ceiling squeaking. Yes. Um, <laughs> I recommend those two. Or don't be on the same floor as the kids. Yeah. And like stick your face in a pillow of being loud your thing because that's what I have to do god man it's fucking just sucks dude I'm like fucking fall break no I'm just kidding <laughs> I'm I'm really really excited about it we love to take fucking Bailey out of town and just let her have some fun what else do we got anything fucking um let's see ass or titties oh, I don't know I like both I like both but if it's I have to pick it's definitely going to be asses for me I like both. I can't really choose because I love buttholes, but I love a good set of knockers too. Uh, I like, especially now that I'm getting my boobs redone, I'm looking at everybody's mm-hmm. tits. I'm coming for everybody's <laughs> boobs. I'm like, mm, I like those. Can I have a set of those? <laughs> I want a set of these. So I, don't I, know. I still need some of those. Oh yeah, that was one other question. Hmm. They said asked if I had ever had any work done, and I had never had any work done <laughs> until my birthday this year. Yay. And Bunny sent me a text, um, like. A month in advance and was like i need you to be at my house at this day on this time and don't ask me any questions i was like <laughs> okay <laughs> and the day of she's like just meet me at this address so i get there and i'm like why the fuck are we at the plastics free place <laughs> like what are we doing she's like, are we? bitch what are you doing to me yeah. and um you know everybody's like oh sign these and this and that and they're like well, what are you getting done and i'm like I don't fucking know. I don't know. <laughs> so I got some Botox in my forehead and Yay. now it's time to go back. I turned her out, guys. Yep. She's on team plastic surgery now. Yep. So Botox is like so simple though. No, and I feel was. like everybody should get a little fucking Botox. And I'll give I, it to my kid when she needs I've it. I've noticed no, that I haven't had nearly as many headaches since Good. I... Yeah, well, that's what they use Botox mm-hmm. for too is headaches. Yeah. So that's so, awesome. You know, it's been a big thing for me. Well, so we all know the answer I've had. <laughs> <laughs> what ask me what I haven't had done. That's probably a better question. But I love plastic surgery. I think if it makes you feel better, mm-hmm. then fucking do it. If it makes you feel like a whole new bitch, go for it. Yep. I'm gonna be hitting up the glow mitts bus. <laughs> yeah, they, they Tanya. I'm t- I dude, I keep trying to get Tanya on the fucking podcast and she's so nervous. But we're just gonna have to dry her in here one day. You guys hit her on Instagram, the perfector injector, and tell her to get her ass on dumb blonde because you want to hear about all the procedures. Or we does. could just bring the equipment into the office one day. And <laughs> just bombard, bombard her. her yeah. Like, bitch, we're booking you out the entire day. <laughs> Can we talk about something that I fucking, it's really bothering me. Let's do it. Little b- men that follow children's accounts. Okay, see, first off, um, I know you got, I know that you guys regulate Bailey's. Oh, absolutely. But some people just throw their kids out here. Gracie wasn't allowed to have social media until she was 17 years old. Yeah. Um, Obviously, you know, it's been something that's progressed, um, you know, as she has gotten older, but that was never something she was allowed to have. Right. Um, But there would be absolutely no way in hell I would let my child have a social media account without being on it, like checking it all the time. And if you are some pervy ass dude who's on a child's 
you deserve to have your ass beat. Like, no, let me find you. Listen, I'm about to 2020 these motherfuckers, you know, <laughs> that sure. guy's name Chris something. Yeah. Where he lords the fucking yeah. uh, weirdos in. So Bailey's Instagram account is on my phone. She doesn't have access to it other than through my phone. So I'm always in there. Just right poking around not because i invade her privacy first of all she's 11 so she doesn't have that much privacy but Mm -mm. i am scared to death because i know how many fucking weirdos there are and let me tell you something she gets about two to three dms a day from grown-ass men Mm -mm. who are just like hey pretty hi baby like just fucking sick shit and it's like I want to put them on blast so I would. bad. I would. And like, I think I'm going to start doing it. But at the same time, it's like, Jesus Christ. Like, it's just so gross. And like, and don't ever try to be like, oh, it was just innocent. No, motherfucker. It's not. There's no even writing her about her dad, I think, is borderline weird. Yeah. And I'm sorry. I'm going to say it. I don't think there's a reason a grown man should be oh, deeming a child, period. Needs to deem a child to tell her about her dad. No. Because what do you need to have a conversation with an 11 year old for? You don't. So I don't know. I think I might start fucking chopping balls off and setting um, people up. I would do that for sure. So yeah, I can't stand here's that. Here's your warning, motherfuckers. Let let them send a fucking dick pic. Are dick pics even still a thing? Um, I don't know. <laughs> She's like, I don't get. Any. <laughs> I don't get dick pics. Dick pics either. I get naked bitches all the time. Thank I you don't guys. Get those I will, either. What uh, the fuck? Oh, you guys gotta send Fifi. <laughs> send Fifi some love, man. She needs some butthole and titties. <laughs> well, ass. She likes asses, so she needs some ass stuff, but. Yeah, some uh, fucking dick pics. Oh, my God. Let some motherfucker send her a dick pic. And I swear to God, I'm going to hunt his whole family down. Oh, no, for sure. I'm waiting for one of them because they all have private accounts, mm-hmm. too. The of course weirdos. they do. Let one of them message me that has a wife. I swear to God, I'm screenshotting and sending oh, it. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah, and I would sure. blast his shit on your own page. I know. I just feel like they, they kind of want that. So it's like I don't want to feed into it. And plus they'll always say, oh, it was just innocent. But I guess I should lure him in and pretend I'm her or something. Does that, That's when it gets weird, right? Well, I mean. <laughs> but that's <laughs> To catch a predator type then, shit. But that's what it is. Like it, oh you're God. a predator if you're talking to a child. Maybe I'm going to um give you her password and let you fucking go in. And I start will. It. Don't think I won't. <laughs> you fucking just I'll be over him. here getting mad and shit, going to people's houses, cutting their tires and their dicks off and <laughs> shit. <laughs> I love it. Aunt, Fee, Aunt Fee's on the fucking parade again. I have so many girls who write me and ask me how I keep my bikini line clean. Um, Bitch, you either shave it or wax it. <laughs> well, I don't think they understand that I can't even grow an eyebrow. So yeah. if you guys watch my YouTube, you'll see that I had to get my eyebrows microbladed <laughs> because I'm not hairy. Like Me even either. my arms on my fucking worst day, I can't yeah. grow hair. So my bikini line has never been a problem for me thankfully but there was a time when it was Mm -hmm. and it was because of the razor i was using and because i wasn't using baby oil yeah i used to always shave with baby oil too and i really feel like that helps so you will break your ass and neck in the shower if you don't be careful with that <laughs> shit though. yeah for sure like please don't get it on your feet just yeah. get it on your crotch you got to become an expert to do that yeah. but you might want to sit outside the tub and then give it a whirl yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking practice until you know start beginner level and then work your yeah. way up to fucking advance yeah, yeah. for sure I, totally I was just thinking i've told al this before like there's nothing scarier than shaving your fucking butthole. Oh my God, for sure. <laughs> Dude, Cardi B was talking about how she was washing her butthole so fast that a finger <laughs> fucking slipped in it. First of all, okay, I get it because I have fingernails like Cardi, but I've never fucking mm. had, listen, my butthole is tight, okay? <laughs> if I fucking even got close to that thing, it'd fucking like, stop. It'd yeah. be like, it yeah. would it like puts up a barricade. It's like, no, no entry. But yeah, that shit was so funny. So every time I think about somebody washing or shaving their butthole, I think about that tweet. That yeah, Cardi, Cardi oh, B said. it's the scariest. No, I I've actually mastered it. I just put my leg up in the Me shower. Too. I and figured it, it yeah. out, but there's I still am like, Ooh, OK, be careful. There, you know, <laughs> I have clipped my butthole before. <laughs> took a big old chunk of butthole meat out <laughs> let me tell you it burns oh my god yeah. <laughs> it burns it's so bad like when you're pooping it's like you're giving childbirth mm-hmm. and just oh when it's healing and that scab rips too it's just like fuck me dude and then there's a little blood and it freaks you out because you're just like oh my god but do i have I'm- a hemorrhoid now <laughs> it just turns into a whole bunch of fucking shit that's shit. not cool Mm-mm. Phoebe, I love you. Thank you so much for coming I again. I love you. I can't wait to have you back on when the studio's being done being built. Yeah, you're going to get to hear a lot more of us together. And oh, yeah. You're going to be sick of it. Once the studio's built, Fee's going to be like a normal, every 
everyday thing. Yeah, we're going to be interviewing bitches together. Yeah, I love Yay. you so much. Why don't you tell people where they can find you? Um, it's Miss Fifi King on Instagram. That's pretty much the only one that you want to go follow. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to get political and then you can go to Twitter. Yeah. Which is? Uh, it's just Fifi King, I think. There you go. All right, you sexy motherfuckers. Thank you for listening to another episode and I will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.